Two on your side has continued to ask the experts about the coronavirus for the past year and a half and tonight that continues. And of course we have been hearing from you about the concerns over the Delta variant and how doctors uh, can actually tell which strain you may have if you do test positive for COVID. Well tonight our Leanne Stuck spoke with a professor from UB who has been leading the way on Delta research. Leanne? That's exactly right Mary Alice. For those of you who have been wondering how many cases of the Delta variant are circulating in our community tonight we got the answer. UB researchers found that virtually all Western New Yorkers are now infected with COVID-19 have the Delta variant. First, let's refresh you on how University at Buffalo researchers determine if someone has the Delta variant of COVID-19. You get swabbed. The test is positive. For the majority of specimens in the United States, that's where the journey ends. For some samples in the areas with the capacity to do so, like UB, the journey continues. The sample is stripped of patient information to keep their medical information private, and it's sent for genomics testing to determine variants. That requires a computer system in a lab to ingest the specimen and perform DNA sequencing. Then a researcher will interpret the data to confirm the variant. On Friday, UB researchers announced that they found virtually all Western New Yorkers now infected with COVID-19 have the Delta variant. It's not necessarily surprising because we've been seeing cases going up and we've known that Delta is becoming um, more predominant across the country. Jennifer Surtees is an associate professor of biochemistry at UB. She's been conducting the only genomic sequencing of COVID-19 samples in Western New York. She said in May, of the cases UB sequenced, 1% were Delta. In June, 25% were Delta. Then, starting in early July, every case except one was a Delta variant. Surtees said that finding was not a surprise given how contagious the Delta variant is. There, This is a very transmissible version of SARS-CoV-2. It results in very high viral loads, which means it's much easier um, to pass to shed the virus to pass that virus on to other people. She also noted that the number of samples sequenced in early July was small. She expects to see many more cases of the Delta variant next week when she will sequence about 100 more samples. To help curb the spread of the Delta variant, she recommends. So if you have not yet been vaccinated, please get back, consider getting vaccinated and certainly finish your course of vaccination if you've started it. And given this finding, Surtees also said that it's especially important that parents and other adults who routinely come in contact with children who cannot get vaccinated get the vaccine. That'll give the children some level of protection against the Delta variant. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.